All right, hey, welcome. So I ran across this Goed version three on Twitter. Mayfly went ahead and created this new version of Game of Active Directory. He typically makes labs that, that can be automated. So what's really cool for me anyways, is the Ludus provider that he created for Ludus. So that's what I'm going to talk about today and what we're kind of be introduced to today. So with that, I'll go to his website right here and I will go to, let's say installation. And he has a few, well, a lot actually of ways to install it. However, we're going to look at install with Ludus. So if you click on here, you'll see it gives a shout out to Bad Sector Labs for Ludus. So cool. So what Ludus is really quick is a way to automate infrastructure. So if you've had AWS or GCP or Azure and you've like spun up like a DC and then joined Windows 11 to it and then have some Linux devices and whatever, right? Using like say Terraform or CloudFormation or something like that, right? This is the way to do it. Like you can still do it in the cloud. <clears throat> However, uh, it's really great for local installs. That's what I have at home here is I just have this mini PC and I install Ludus on there and it can automate creating my ranges with that. So super cool, uh, really fast. You don't need the cloud to spend all that money and you can make a real fast range to go ahead and spin up and do tests on or to figure out new admin ways to deploy things or really the, the sky's the limit. There's just so much stuff in here. Like I'm just gonna go in here real quick and look under the environment guide. Like you can make an Active Directory cert certificate services you can make, a, here's go it here, but I would say use what we're about to talk about. I think these are kind of old now. Uh, you can make a net exec workshop lab. You can make a malware lab. Uh, you can make an EDR lab with elastic. Just, there's just so much, it's so great. So going back to Mayflower here and his new way to provision things. So here's his site. If you go down here, he says, hey, let's uh, install this on the Lutus server only. So typically that's not how it's done. Typically you do it on your host machine and you kind of SSH in and, and do some stuff. Uh, we won't go into the details, but basically just know that you need to put this on the, on the server, uh, this go round. So the install docs are here. If you need to figure out how to like install Ludus, it's real easy as long as there's many ways to install it, but like the easiest, like the easiest is Debian 12, like have on a bare metal box, like a mini PC, put Debian 12 on and then SSH to it and then run this one command. Like here, here it goes right here, SSH, run the one command. Boom, it does all these prompting for you, which is super cool. Say, yeah, 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 I wanna do all the things. Yeah, I understand. Uh, that's completely gonna take over. You can name it a different name. You can like give it, you know, a different IP address publicly, all this good stuff. Uh, if you have a pre-existing Proxmox, you can like change things around a little bit for pools, uh, like right here where you store your ISOs, uh, so forth and so on. Really great. And then it's just install and it goes. Super cool, super fast uh, way to install Ludus. So yeah, make sure you've got that uh, going for yourself and that you create an admin user. So how that works is like there's this create user area and you can go ahead and like, you know, be root, uh, run this command and it'll, it'll throw out this API key. And then once you have this API key, you'll run pretty much this command. And here's that admin area that uh, it mentioned previously. Just change your user ID to whatever it is. Mine's like JM and it's like, hey, Jesse, uh, would be right here. And then it would basically create a JM uh, Proxmox net network. So if I go in here, you'll see that I have that right here, that kind of thing. So. Boom, you're done. Uh, that's easy peasy. So what else do you need to know? Uh, pretty much just get on your, your Ludus server now, which is on the Debian 12 that you created. Uh, and by the way, just so you know, so once you have the Debian 12, you install Ludus, Ludus actually creates Proxmox for you, that environment and a bunch of automation. So uh, you don't have to worry about installing Proxmox as well. Really nice. So the next thing you'd have to do is pretty much all these things. So git clone, cd into what you git cloned, uh, make this uh, virtual environment, 
export your key. And this would be the user key, like that JM that I mentioned, that key, and then run this. And then basically you'll be uh, jumped into this kind of uh, prompting area. So you can say check, check to make sure everything's okay. Then this is the neat piece. So set lab. So you can set it just to be go ahead, just normal go ahead, go ahead light, or this NHA or the SCCM lab. So you can dig into details right here. Like for instance, here's the lab. So here's GOID, and this is what it entails for GOID, right? Five VMs, two fours, three domains. And then GOID Lite is three VMs, one fours, two domains, right? Just a little bit smaller. And like you have an SCCM, which is four VMs, one fours, one domain, and a Microsoft Configuration Manager installed. Uh, this is uh, super cool. So right, back to, uh, back to this. So we go back to the installation, go to the Lutus. And so once you say set lab and pick which one, so like let's say SCCM is right here. So set underscore lab SCCM, and then you would install. And then in two to three hours, I believe, I think it says it's somewhere, um, but basically uh, it it's installing and it'll run and it'll be good to go. So let's see here. So. I come down here, where does it say extra stuff? Um, well, I guess it does not, but that's okay. So at any rate, so really after that, it'll it'll take about two to two to five hours depending. Um, and then you would see something to the effect of this. So you'll see like, for me, I did SCCM and then you'd have these random numbers here and then it will create a router a DC, as you can see, there's a DC there. Yay. And it's red because it's not blocked from the internet. It has access to the internet. If you want to do some testing, you can run the testing command, and then this will turn green for like, hey, no telemetry going out to the world type of stuff. So you got Mechum, SQL Server, and a client, all these things. Uh, I put my own Kali in there, so it doesn't come with that. I, I put that in after the fact. So yeah, that's pretty much what it would look like at the end. And then you can do all your testing and stuff uh, via various uh, blogs or, or your own methods. Like for instance, Mayfly has this section where you can go ahead and, and try to exploit things through his blog here on different ways to do it. So feel free to check that out once you've got your stuff installed. So that pretty much wraps it up for checking out this cool new game of Active Directory automation on Ludus. I hope y'all have fun with this and do new and inventive things. Let me know how that goes. Have fun.